What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome, and this is the Wii Phone WF31. It's a basic beginner drone that you can get for less than $100. Now it has some interesting features. We have brushless motors, that means it's gonna be a little bit more efficient, a little bit more powerful. Um, they claim a 4K camera, but we'll get to that. The package gives you two batteries, each claiming 25 minutes of flight time. It does have a handful of intelligent flight modes. There's a follow me, there's a circle. There is even a return to home. And it even comes in this fancy little carrying case. I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons of this drone, but drones like this are actually the reason I think a lot of people get into and out of the hobby. Stay tuned, we'll go over it. So this drone is sold by Wii Phone, which is owned or somehow affiliated with Holy Stone. Now Holy Stone makes some decent beginner drones, um, and I think Wii Phone is kind of like their smaller division. Now the list price on this thing is $165, and there's a coupon code for $55 off, and there's also a 20% discount in the video description. So that brings the price down to about $88, and for about $88, bucks, it's pretty typical of what you might expect for a drone like this. Now a lot of people ask me, Jack, what's the best drone you can get for under $100? Bucks? What's the best drone you can get for under $200? And really... There isn't a good one that I like to recommend to people because ultimately they end up being disappointed by something. Either the camera isn't good enough. Now this one claims to be a 4K camera and most of them do. Uh, but really when you look at the pictures and video coming out of this thing and drones in the comparable price range, it's not going to be very good. Mostly because it's not on a gimbal. There's nothing stabilizing this and it's not stabilized electronically. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. Drones under hundred bucks. And when you get closer to $200, sometimes you get electronic image stabilization, and that's a little bit better. But just kind of note, for $100, bucks, you are not going to get a really solid drone in most cases. Yes, there are exceptions. Certainly, there are sales. And there are a handful of drones that I do like for less than $100. I'm going to make a whole video on that later on. So what do you get with this one, the WF-31 from Wii Phone? Well, like I said, there are two batteries, and they each claim 25 minutes of flight time. No no drone gets whatever the claim manufacturer flight time is. It's somewhere between 50 and 75% of that. And that really depends on how you fly and where you fly and all sorts of other things. But it is nice you get two batteries with this drone. For eight, eight bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Another thing you wanna look for with drones is can you save to an SD card? And you can save to an SD card with this. Um, I did have to format it. Um, and then it wasn't quite sure, but it did end up saving to my SD card. So um, if you can, make sure you're, you're getting a drone that saves to SD cards. Now I did test the flight modes. They work kind of more or less, right? The follow me isn't super accurate. The return to home did bring this drone home. It landed about 20 feet or so, maybe 15 feet uh, from the initial takeoff point. Uh, but they work, circle works or orbit or whatever you want to call it, not great, uh, but it does get the job done. But this is not a drone you're going to want uh, to take pictures and videos with. Um, it's certainly not going to be a professional grade tool. This is something you're going to learn with. Now, I think the pictures actually turn out much better than the video because this is not stabilized. And that's pretty typical with drones in this price range. You're going to get some shaky video. And I don't think there's video editing software that's going to take the jitters out of something like this. Um, you know, it's not even on isolation dampeners. Uh, so even a light breeze is going to make the video footage pretty darn shaky. It is nice that you get a carrying case with this shoulder bag. I can fit both of my batteries in here, a couple of extra things. You get some props and tools and stuff like that. That's a nice little bonus. Um, for 88 bucks, yeah, you're not going to get that with most drones in that price range. But again, I'd probably still recommend spending a little bit more and getting a different drone. I know Wii Phone is producing a slightly better version with a 2-axis gimbal and electronic image stabilization. That's going to be probably a little bit more expensive, and that's coming out in the next two weeks or so. So check back on the channel for that one or really any of these other, right? I've flown a ton of mini drones over here, uh, and I like a lot of them. We've got the DJI ones, we got Femi, we've got Potenzik, we've got Seafly, we even have Spectre coming. So um, 
Lots of good ones coming out and already exist. So there are lots of options out there for you. I got videos on all those things. You should check that out as well. The remote here is pretty basic. This folds up, your phone goes in here, connect it to the Wi-Fi. Gotta have a newer uh, 5G uh, capable phone. The antenna folds up in the back. Picture and video buttons here, gimbal up and down button here, or camera up and down button here, I should say. And then we have various di different buttons here to, to unlock, compass calibration, and return to home. Now, I do have to tell you, I had a heck of a time getting this compass calibrated. Now, you can fly it uh, without, but none of the GPS mode things will work, like return to home or follow me or any of that. Um, I don't know what the magic trick was, just eventually it worked. Um, I did the spinny spin like you're supposed to, and then I waited, didn't work, turned it off, turned it back on, poof, GPS worked. So I don't know about that, but eventually it worked. But you're gonna get some glitches, and again, that's something that is fairly typical with drones in the under $200 price range, unfortunately. So is this a glowing review? No, right? It is uh, probably not a drone that I would recommend to most people. 80 bucks you know that's not cheap right and you're not getting a high quality drone not that you really can for less than 100 bucks but i think i prefer the rise hello it's about 99 dollars. it's not as powerful it has brushed motors uh certainly has its limitations but i think it's a great tool to begin with i'd recommend that for less than 100 dollars. otherwise i'd actually recommend spending more if you want something that's a little bit more stable has a better camera there are lots of many drones out there the best in the under 300 price range is the uh, DJI 4K or the Spectre Mini. If you want to spend less than $200 or close to $200, uh, then I'd look at the Seafly Faith series. And then again, I don't know, but this WeFone WF40 looks like it has some potential as well. So uh, we'll check that out. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.